What is going on? It's your boy Jordy Smart, the Mad Scientist. We're back again with more Division 2 content that's got from a different cloth. Please like, subscribe, check out my channel, and all my other Division 2 content. Now, with the launch of Take Locked 89.1, the question on every PV player's lips is simple. What exactly have they done to the Burn and Bleed status effect, and what does it mean for those non skilled status builds? Well, I can confirm there has been a nerf to damage and duration of the effects, but from what I can gather, there's been a slight buff to the skill damage, which will almost negate the loss in damage over time these effects previously had. And when you're considering skills such as the Burn, Sticky, the Fire Chem, the Single Seeker and the Stinger Hive, I think they are roughly across the board just as effective as they previously were, but I do think the Exotic Holster, the Dynasty Holster, will be most likely massively impacted by this. There is some good news though for the DPS status users, this build is a great example of how the new changes can actually boost your DPS ability and make builds that use tactics such as this more effective. I will stress this is of course a DPS build and that's its primary focus. The status we do have rolled on the build isn't primarily there to deal huge damage over time, it's simply there to be applied so that the effects of our burn and our bleed are sufficient enough for other agents to consider not pushing one, while still having the maximum status duration so you can take down those pesky people who want to run around the corner and pop an armor kit. You could also aid this favor by using the Seeker Mine. You also gain the benefit of area control by dropping your stinger when you are pushed, allowing you to gain the invaluable seconds so you can find a better position. And this is important to improve your tactical awareness as the downfall of this build, which as I say is the case with most of the 6 red and 6 yellow builds you see. It does lack in armor, so it is specifically designed for the agents who can run, duck, dodge and dive out of cover take that huge massive damage per second, then dive into cover and then rinse and repeat that process. Now this build will one shot most people, but it does sometimes struggle with the tank yard builds, and I've simply rolled the status to improve the survivability in tactical situations as opposed to using it as any of our effective damage dealing uh, resource. But if you do want to see a fully optimized DPS one shot build, please check out the video link in the description below. That build will eliminate the tankiest of the agents. Check out the video, you will not be disappointed. For the build, the specialization we're using is Survivalist, probably the best for a status effect build. You get 10% skill cooldown in cover, 5 ammo per second in a cover to cover move, 10% bonus damage to status affected enemies. All these are going to benefit your ability uh, when using this type of playstyle. You do get an additional cooldown as well for your seeker highs, which is going to help your single seeker. And you can also get them nifty extendary grenades, which are probably the best grenades you can get in the game outside of the. Um, Cluster grenades, you get an additional bit of ammo there for killing status affected enemies and if you pair off with something like the back of boomstick there with sadist you do get some additional damage you get 15% outgoing healing, 10% protection from elites which isn't too important in PvE but for the dark zone it's alright and of course with the outgoing healing you're getting the armor regeneration to your teammates which is going to help them massively in terms of the actual build, we are running a vector with close and personal and the additional rate of fire. This does benefit this type of build because we are losing a bit of weapon damage or potential for weapon damage. So we are stacking that there to increase our maximum potential with such a high fire rate of the gun. This is going to maximize our output damage per second. And we're going to pair this off, of course, with the Sweet Dreams, which will have the similar massive damage per output capability, which is what we want to do with this build. We want to hit as much damage as we can and then run away. You could maybe use the Lady Death and possibly pair off the Lady Death with the KSG Shotgun with Closed and Personal, which I've got there. The reason I'm doing that there, you do get them weapon stacks, which will improve your ability to run and gun, but I do like the status on this build. We're running a Badger which has critical chance and status, we want to keep a critical chance pretty high. We are of course running a 3 piece Solokov with Gunslinger to maximize our weapon damage with this build because it is a damage build. A 1 piece Cheska, and as you notice we're running status effect and critical damage on most of these pieces with a few exceptions to critical chance just to boost our numbers. The group are for the extra critical hit damage and again we are rolling status effect on that. So every piece bar one will have status effect, giving us 50% status effect, 55 with the Fern Handshake, which is of course the named Sonic of Gloves. Great for any status build that is built around DPS. 
and for the backpack we are using Versatile and of course Versatile deals amplified damage of 35% for enemies within 15 meters for SMGs and shotguns which is why this build is so effective if you do get up close especially when you pair it with close and personal and the high fire rate of the vector. We are sitting with 60% critical hit chance and 172% critical hit damage. We're probably over optimized on the SMG by about 3% because we are running 17% critical chance, but I'm not really too fussed about that. And we're hitting about 152% critical hit damage on the shotgun, which is enough to pretty much one shot most builds. But that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace out. Take care. Stay safe. And of course, enjoy Division. Thank <laughs> you.